Is it Leo replacing Millie? Barbie fans are going crazy. This picture might be hinting at seeing more of a deal in the next few months. This is a picture of a mix and match playset that's circulating online and fans, myself included, are so excited for this. Millie has been around for quite some time and with the subsequent release of Odile dolls like the Odile Mermaids, Pink Premier, and Juan Gabriel, fans are left wondering whether this is a foreboding end for Millie. Honestly, I'm not going to complain. I've mentioned in our other videos before that I like the Millie face mold, especially the closed mouth one, but if I were to choose between Odile and Millie, I'd choose Odile in a heartbeat. This new doll, oh, so pretty. She has not been released yet by the way, so hold your horses before you check Amazon or Mattel's website cause you'll just feel frustrated trying to look for it. Am I speaking from experience? Uh, maybe. From the looks of the doll, it appears that this is a regular Barbie body with standard articulation. I can't get over the fact that we are finally getting a regular, as in not a mermaid, playline Odile because as a collector who's been obsessed with this face mold, I've been waiting for ages for her to get out of collector status. Same thing with Claudette. She looks like pink premiere Odile out of her glam outfit, especially with her eyes looking off to the side. Although the pictures online might just be a prototype since the doll is not out in the market yet, I'm really hoping that the screening would be of good quality since this has been an ongoing complaint from collectors. This is also one of the reasons why many people have grown to hate Millie. Well, hate might actually be a strong word, but dislike might be more like it. But to be fair, looking at the pictures, it seems that her screening is identical to that of Pink Premiere. I'm really hoping she's not pixelated because that would be a huge letdown. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the screening on the Odile Mermaids, I kind of felt a little disappointed, but since I really love that face mold, I didn't mind. This playset has four pieces of clothing to give three different looks. The doll is wearing a pink ruffled dress that looks like a cross between the Dream Date inspired fashionista doll and a pop clits Barbie. Her dress has turquoise edges and also has a sequined look all over. This also matches one of the accessories that come in the set and uh, it's this plastic turquoise handbag with a star on it. She also comes wearing strap heels that match her pink dress. Also in this same set we have this oversized purple graffiti shirt which I'm not a big fan of if I'm being honest. I mean I'm sure it has an appeal for some like kids for example but some adult collectors seem to be avoiding this. I mean right? There's also this hot pink blazer that looks like it's made of faux leather paired with a metallic silver skirt. I want to give you a heads up slash warning as early as now that since we are dealing with a playline doll here, you might be expecting playline quality. And when I say playline, I mean some fraying, some loose hitches, you know, stuff like that. Of the three pairs of shoes in the packaging, this might work with this pair of silver shoes or this pair of translucent hot pink ankle boots. Interestingly, there are some accessories included too like this pair of sunglasses which is just solid black. No painted details whatsoever but you can see molded studs on it. There's also this yellow shoulder bag with molded details and this very familiar yellow love necklace which is the same that comes with Fashionista 188, only it's in pink. The packaging looks just like the other mix and match playsets Mattel had released in the past, but this one, this Odile playset, is definitely something to watch out for. In all outfits in this set, I am mostly excited for the pink blazer and the silver skirt. These look versatile and could be used as like an office outfit or like a power boss outfit for Odile when we take pictures for Insta. Oh, speaking of Insta, go check us out on Ty's Collectibles. I know that a lot of fans are expecting Odile to replace Millie, and I'm actually one of those people who would love Odile to replace Millie. But since this is going to be like a new era, I was hoping that we would be getting accessories that look entirely new, I mean not recycled like this one. Because for people who collect a lot of Barbie dolls, seeing familiar accessories, although they are in different colors, might be a little disappointing. I mean, I'm just saying. I have no information yet when this is coming out, but I'm hoping that she gets released right before Christmas because I'm expecting there's going to be high demand for her, just like the other Odile dolls that have been released. What are your thoughts about this upcoming release? Let's start a discussion in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us in this quick review slash buyer's guide for the new Playline Odile. Give us a like, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you next time.